So I would like to introduce you all to Slava. Slava, this is everybody. Hello everybody. Everybody, this is Slava. <laughs> if you don't know me already, I'm a local teacher in Vancouver mm -hmm. doing retreats for Acro Yoga, workshops and teaching full time. So today me and Nick are going to discuss how to do handstands. So basically, yoga, handstand, Acro Yoga badass. <laughs> um, and he's going to make sure we're safely learning good technique um, because he's way more qualified than I am. Um, so our basic plan is over the coming months we're going to go through a real progression of handstands from foundation, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we're going to start with foundation. Probably the most yeah. important thing yeah. for the building. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And so what's today's videos are going to be? Uh, we're going to cover basic downward dog, basic plank, uh -huh. and then potentially progress you up into crow until you can fully invert yourself with just your hands. All right. Awesome. So um, these videos are going to be below on Playpoint. They're going to be in a little group. Um, and uh, yeah, so just follow these and then we'll come back later with the progression slowly over time. Checkpoint, one, 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 over. Yeah. Beam me up, Scotty. So we're going to start, we're going to go over um, um, the, yeah, well, you know. Okay. Handstand progression. Okay, so before you start doing any handstands, before you start to invert yourself, you have to have a little checkpoint. So am I strong enough to hold myself in a simple position like a downward dog? Can I do a plank? Can I do a crow? And eventually when you progress, you don't have to take step backwards. You can slowly progress with these videos and eventually master a handstand and all the fun stuff afterwards. Blocks, canes, one-handed handstands, balances. It's all here. Sweet. In our, uh, in our handstand progression here. Mm -hmm. Okay folks, so before you actually think about getting into handstands or getting any uh, postures that put pressure on the wrist, you have to take care of it because these are the guys that are going to hold you up there. So you're going to take the hands down, place the knees to the floor, flip your palms, put a little bit of pressure, about five to ten pounds, walk the knees further away, keep the arms straight, keep walking, keep walking, until you feel a stretch. Now a stretch is not a painful sharp electrical sensation, it's a deep dull aching sensation. Hold it for about 30 seconds and then you can slowly release like two stickers. You're going to peel the hands off and then shake them out side to side, side to side. So that's step one. Step two, top of the hand out, fingers point towards the knees, walk the knees away. Now there's a little trick that I learned uh, from a good friend of mine. So if you look a little closer towards my fingers, you're going to press your middle fingers down. So this is going to engage your wrists and your forearms more and create a deeper stretch. Press, press, press. The heel of the palm down to the ground. About 30 seconds. And then slowly release. Shake the hand side to side, up and down, side to side, up and down, just to create some energy. And one of the last wrist stretches, you're going to place the tops of the hands down. Knuckles together like you're going to go in a boxing ring. And slowly start to straighten the arms. Keep the index fingers into your palm, so make sure they don't splay out. Lift, 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 lift. Some of you will be here, some of you will be here, some of you can straighten all the way. And maybe you even want to walk the knees away. About 30 seconds. Bend the elbows, keep the knuckles together, lift up, and release. Shake the hands side to side, up and down, side to side, up and down. And in the last exercise, you're going to take your thumbs, tuck them into your palms, and then glue the fingers over top. Same thing, thumb in, glue the fingers over top, open the arms wide, and you're going to stretch what's called a snuff pocket. So you're going to bring the knuckles down, 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 hold it here for about 30 seconds. And then release, shake them up, down, side to side, and then you're ready for handstand progressions. All right, and this we, every time. Every time. Yep. All right, next step in continuing to um, work towards handstands. Okay, so you warm up the wrists, now you're ready to put some pressure on them. So if you've never done a downward dog, just take a close look. Notice how my wrists are stacked over my shoulders, my index fingers point forward, my thumbs point 45 degrees. So this is going to be the alignment for all your progressions, starting from the basic downward dog, moving into plank, moving into crow, moving into handstands, eventually one-handed handstands at all stays the same. So hands down, you're going to tuck the toes, move the hips a couple of times just to warm up. If possible, try to take the heels to the floor, straighten the legs and relax your head. 
Now notice what I'm doing with my uh, shoulders and my elbows. I'm not collapsing down. I'm not holding this weird ankle. I'm making sure that my arms are straight. I'm creating a little bit of external rotation. Externally rotate your arms, relax your head. So external means your elbows are rotating? Outwards. So yeah. if these were my inner eyes of the elbows, I'm looking straight forward versus okay. straight back. I'm rotating, so the eyes point directly ahead of me. Yeah. Yeah. So from downward dog, easy after a minute. You can give yourself a quick break, and then you can progress into a plank. So all you're going to do is just shift your weight forward, shoulders over the wrists, take the legs further back, try to press the heels backwards so you're nice and strong through the core, pull the belly in. Okay. If you manage this, you can start to make this harder, shoulders past the fingertips, and this is kind of the feeling you have when you're in actual handstand. Shift, 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 moving just to your big toes, hold it here for a minute, and then knees down. Relax the wrist, shake them up and down, make little circles, one way and the opposite way, and then you're ready to progress into crow. So knees into the triceps or knees into the armpits. Now again, it's going to depend on your hip flexibility. So if you're a person who's here, you're going to progress first with knees into triceps. If you're a person that can sit really low, knees into the armpits. Exact same thing progression with the arms, palms down, index fingers point forward. Come up to the tippy toes, shift the body weight, keep the elbows bent so you create a little bit of a shelf through your body. One foot, stay, don't rush, if you feel it. Other foot, stay, you can cross your feet and look just ahead of you. Coming down, releasing the hands, shaking side to side. Pressure through the heel of the palm, through your knuckles, very little through your fingers. So when you're actually in a handstand, most of the pressure is being driven from your shoulder to the heel of the palm and into your knuckles. If you start using your fingers and get into bad habits, this is what happens. Oh, well, fingers, 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 too much fingers, I fall down. Hmm. Versus using the pressure through the heel of the palm, lift up. And stay. Coming to the floor, releasing, and you're ready to go. So how much of each of these, how much, uh, how often and how much of the downward dog, the plank, and the, like what's the, the regiment here? Mm -hmm. So I'd say this is a daily uh, schedule. I do it every day, maybe two sets. So one minute downward dog, one minute plank, one minute crow, and then give it a break. Usually you can break it up into pieces. So you can do one in the morning, one in the afternoon. You do it every day for a couple of months until you can progress into longer holds or watch the next video and we go into hands against the walls. And what if like say, say somebody they can do the downward dog, planks harder and crow isn't, it's just 10 seconds at a time longer? 10 seconds at a time longer, yeah, okay. that's right. Yeah. yeah, just make sure to stretch out the wrist as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when, when you're able to do all three of those, then th by then we'll have some more videos up. Okay, see, see awesome. you soon. Mm -hmm.